Hi, welcome back. Um, one of the topics I like to talk about is playing in odd time signatures. I've had a lot of experience with a lot of groups that I've been with, including Alan Holdsworth and, and Frank Zappa, of course. Um, there's nothing really difficult about them if you figure out how to practice them, how to, how to count them. And they're, they're always based on counts of, I think, two counts and three counts. Um, for example, if you're playing in a 5-4 pattern, it's either going to be a 2 plus a 3, or it's going to be a 3 plus a 2. Those are the only possibilities I've, I've heard. So it's really natural to put your bass drum on the 1 count. So that's usually an accented point. So if you have 2 plus 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. Um, if we're in rock, I can you know, count the full five, which would be kind of one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. or you can count it one, two, one, two, three. The, the uh, accent is on the one and three. One, two, three, four. So this will just get you started in it. Um, there's a little trick, or you can almost think of like a, a code that's used uh, over and over and over in music, and it's taking any three pattern. This could be a jazz waltz, could be a, anything in three. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you count, put a rhythm of two dotted quarter notes in that. You would have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One. It's actually a polyrhythm, you have three, Polyrhythm because it's a, it's a steady even pulse. One, two, three, and, and this is a steady even pulse. So the ones line up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. So this rhythm can be used in any three count at a slow, medium to medium fast tempo, and and it usually sounds good. It kind of rolls the thing along. So if I'm playing in five. Counting at a 2 4 pattern, just 1, 2, and then for the 3, I'm going to play 1, 2, and 3. If you put those together, you have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. For this, I'm just putting the snare drum as a backbeat. In other words, on two and four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So, you know, if you play this for 10 minutes or so, you'll be able to feel that. One, two, three, four, five. It won't be so foreign to you. Uh, there's nothing really difficult about odd times. They're just, uh, you know, in, in the States, we don't hear them as often as, as a lot of other countries because it's not in our, in our folk music. Um, but if you visit or check out the, obviously, you know, musical Bulgaria or India or Greece, um, Turkey, it's full of odd time signatures. And people understand it who do not understand music. They, they just feel it as a groove. Now we're going to do a pattern of three plus two, which equals five. So one, two, three, one, two, or one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Now 
Now again, in that three pattern, we can add the two dotted quarter notes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. Okay, then I just switched over to swing, but you can hear the bass drum pattern stays the same. One, two, three, four, which is a pattern for um, take five, the famous Dave Brubeck tune, and, and many others. So with this little formula, uh, you can really get into playing odd time signatures. If you have a pattern of seven, you, that could be a bar of four, four, plus a bar of three, four. So if I just play uh, simply half notes in the four, four, one, two, three, four, then Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's the most common one in Western music is a seven, is a bar of four and a bar of three. But if you, you take those four, four beats and divide them into two, four, two, four, you can move that around. In essence, you can move the three around. You can move the three to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Which you'd have. Or another more unusual way is two plus three plus two. So you'd have one, two, one, two, three, one, two. It's one bar. Anyway, with this formula, you can just keep on going. You can play. Nines have a lot of possibility because you have four and five, or five and four, and then you divide up those twos and the four fours and move the threes around. Um, with any piece of music, though, the, the, it's going to be a fixed groove. It's, it's typically going to be fixed. If you're in seven, it's either going to be four plus three or three plus four. You know. We're going to come back to this lesson and uh, talk about playing in seven four and half time feel for you, and plus some a lot of. Um, optional little fills you can do with, with stickings that are attached. Thanks.